So, uh, Mr. Crest said we should talk about uh, work, but uh, not here. So is there a room in the back or something? Cool, I'll get set up. So, Mr. Crest said you might be able to help me out with something. Well, not me, so that's clear. It's not me you're gonna be helping. And I want to understood that I am not involved. Just a bystander doing a favor. And this is not an offer of employment so much as an opportunity. And well, anyway, that's just getting a bit technical. But the point is, sometimes our fair and legal justice system makes mistakes. And this is one such time. Here he is, Professor Maxim Rashkovsky. You know the professor? Used to be head of research for the army. Three doctorates. Overconfident polymath, vain sociopath, tedious egomaniac, control freak, geneticist, weapons development, engineer, car nut, but definitely not a people person. Accused of espionage along with everything else? You don't remember? Well, lucky you. Exceedingly vain and self-absorbed man, brilliant at everything he does, yada yada yada, makes you want to puke. He's a goddamn traitor. I mean, he's a rat, but he pays. Incarcerated for a crime he did commit, but well, let's just say money talks and he's going to walk. So, we got a few things to get ready, all pretty straightforward. Do them one at a time, but any way you like. Standard op for a gov fact breakout, if you know what I mean. Rad. All right, first thing's a plane, then we got a bus, and th then, well, Two things, we got the inmate transfer schedule and Rashkovsky's car. More on that later, let me show you. We need a plane to get the professor out of the country. It's currently being used to traffic drugs by transnational street gang, the Vagos. Good job. Take care of this. The bus. Need a standard Bolingbrook transport vehicle. The least traffic is on the route from Polito Bay. All right, that's where you're going to be able to get a hold of one. Huh. Nice. We'll hold on to this for you. You can get a hard copy of the inmate transit schedule at the LSPD's Mission Row station. Go in unarmed, play it cool. You might not have a problem. That's a two person job. Max. The other two-hander is our guy's prize Casco. We believe it's about to be shipped to Korea by a luxury car theft ring. Hey! Out. I'm taking over. Okay, Mr. Kress said you guys are at least semi-competent, so, well, Professor Reshkovsky pays well. Hey, good work, people. Great job. Nice, we're still in business. Very well done. All of you, very, very non-incriminating. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Ah, you know, it's ironic given we, uh, uh, <laughs> Maybe now's not the best time to discuss irony. God, what is wrong with me, you know? I'm usually such a high achiever, you know, for a criminal. <laughs> so, before we remove Professor Rashkovsky from his unwelcome stay in prison, we've got to, we've got to clean up a few other loose ends pertaining to the case. Yes, it's a killing, but no, it's nothing immoral at all, just lawyers. Well, uh, the professor's old business associate and two lawyers, but really it's all the same. I mean, I always say, if you can't kill a couple lawyers to bend the law to your will, then who can you kill, right? <laughs> oh, here they are, Gavin Vandeloup and Josh Sherman. Get them on the way to City Hall, get the documents they're carrying. The business partner is Dima Popov. Extremely rich, extremely paranoid, and extremely horrible. Don't cry for this guy, no one else will. He's renting a place up in Richmond Glen. Just him, and a huge security team. Paranoia. It's been prepared, stupid. Maybe that's why I'm not the asshole in the jail. Huh? Yeah, okay. Get close to him.
take him down, and after that, we should be ready to go. If a guard sees you and sounds the alarm, Popov will run, and then you'll disappear, and he won't appear again anywhere we could possibly get to him, okay? So do it slow. Here they come. Wait till they're out and take the shots at the exact same time. Two shots, two kills. a bit of a problem. Some asshole got wind of what we were up to. Apparently killing a guy's closest associate puts a bit of a spotlight on him. <laughs> anyway, now I'm told they put a price on the professor's head, so we gotta move. Now. Is that clear? Can we get going? All right. And remember, the professor's paying you, not me. Not me at all. So keep him alive. Based on this inmate transfer schedule, Ballingbroke are expecting a new arrival. One of you is gonna intercept the transport, make sure it doesn't get there. Two of you are going to be taking our prison bus and making your way into the facility in its place. You'll be playing inmate and guard. Stay in character as long as it's useful, then make your way to the rooftops. I'll get on the radio and give you a path to the prof. Meanwhile, the pilot will have picked up the plane and be waiting on the evac in the air. Whoever stole the bus will be bypassing the prison and torching it somewhere discreet. After that, it's just a matter of getting your guy out of the clink and getting him onto the plane. Everyone flies out of there except for the bus thief. Professor Reshkovsky takes control of the plane. The three of you on board take a jump. The professor's out of U.S. airspace and reunited with his precious car. Simple. Should be the easiest money you'll ever make. Speak soon. Hold it together and they'll let you in. You've got clearance. Just one, huh? I thought the drug laws were keeping us full. Come on. I thought they were sending professionals. I collaborate and nearly get a ship for the pleasure. Just give me... Uh, nice. There are some screws I hope we run into. Let's go!
I should say, I've been impressed by your professionalism. I'm not gonna go into it, but Rashkovsky's part of something bigger. Way bigger. I need to make a few more inquiries and we'll be ready to go on a job that requires your particular skill set. Don't retire on me just yet. 